Hello friends, this video on reproductive health part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Reproductive health, problems and strategies Population explosion and birth control Medical termination of pregnancy Sexually transmitted diseases And infertility so as the lesson says reproductive health so the first question that comes to our mind is what is reproductive health we all know what do we mean by having good health we all know health is wealth so all these things are known to us but what is so specific about reproductive health so what kind of good health are we talking about when we say reproductive health okay so reproductive the word is related to reproduction and when we uh, when we uh, think of reproduction you can just think in your mind the reproductive system in human beings reproductive health many people think that reproductive health is all about uh, keeping your reproductive organs healthy so well it is not only about your physical reproductive health now if your reproductive uh, if the reproductive parts of your body are healthy and they are functioning fine that doesn't mean that uh, you are having a reproductive good health i mean that also means but that doesn't that is not the only criteria to define reproductive health there is a lot more meaning to it now, when I say reproductive health, it is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being in all aspects of reproduction. Now, when I say physical, it means that you should, I mean, one has to take proper care of all the uh, organs or the reproductive parts of his or her body. So, that is all about the physical aspect. When I say mental, so it also has a lot of psychological or mental aspects when you talk about reproduction. So, whenever we, you think of reproduction, it has many more things to it. It is not only about about your reproductive organs so reproduction gave birth to children now children again in in our country especially you would have seen that there is a lot of discrimination between a girl child and a boy child right so all these things are what they are all psychological things related to reproduction similarly there are also things where there are couples who are not able to reproduce or who are not able to give birth to a baby. So there also you have a mental uh, pressure. So these are all related to reproduction, but they affect your mental well-being. So when you talk about reproductive health, you have to be mentally well as well. The third one is the social well-being. Society also plays a very important role as far as reproduction is concerned. For example, it is the society who has defined that having a boy child is better than having a girl child. It is the society who has defined that you must have your own kids. You are not a, if you are not able to have your own kids, then uh, that is something not good. So all these things are created by society, right? What is right, what is not. Th there is nothing right or wrong. But the society has created certain norms and now that that thing has become a pressure for people. So when you talk about reproduction, reproductive health rather, you have to be physically well in all aspects of reproduction. You have to be mentally well. You also have to be socially well in all aspects of reproduction. Now, as we go ahead with the lesson, you will get to understand more about what, what I mean to say when I say physical, mental and social well-being. Because we will talk about each and every topic related to reproduction and which are prevalent in our society. And you will see that it is not only about your physical well-being. It is also, it has a lot to do with the social as well as mental well-being. So with this brief introduction in mind, let us quickly see what are the uh, aspects which are covered under reproductive health. What are the things which we are going to discuss when we talk about reproductive health. So one thing which we will talk about is the knowledge of the reproductive processes and the organs. Obviously that is the basic thing. So when you talk about anything related to reproduction, you should first know your reproductive system. What are the reproductive organs? How do they function? So that basic knowledge should be there. 
care of mother and the child so when a lady is carrying a baby so that is when the lady is pregnant so proper care has to be taken for that lady because she is not only nurturing herself she is also nurturing a child inside so proper care has to be taken in terms of her diet in terms of her proper rest and um, in terms of her happiness so everything has to be taken care family planning so this is another important aspect which needs to be taken care when we talk about reproductive health that is what is what do you mean by family planning so here we'll talk about uh, the benefits of having a smaller family because yeah, because of the increasing population which we see that has serious threats so it is very very important that the family is well organized happy so and for that reason it is not too big to become unaffordable so that is another important aspect which we will discuss in quite a bit detail knowledge on stds that is sexually transmitted diseases now there are quite a few diseases which uh, which get transmitted from one person to another uh, only through sexual contact so now when you talk about sexual intercourse or sexual contact it is all related to reproduction correct so these kind of diseases how can these diseases be prevented uh, whether we have cure for them or they can be treated or not so we will talk about these sexually transmitted diseases as well so these are some of the important aspects which we will discuss under reproductive health in detail and we will see that when we discuss each of these in detail we will get to know that how reproductive health has a lot to do with physical mental as well as social well being now as i mentioned in the previous slide what are we going to cover under reproductive health obviously family planning as i said proper knowledge on the reproductive organs and reproductive system that is very important sex education so what do we mean by sex education now sex education is going to be uh, that branch of study it is not a branch of study basically it is going to be uh, that education where we train people who are in the adolescent age group that is the teenagers maybe somebody like you so the people of this age group they should know uh, the pros and cons of sexual intercourse what is the right time when somebody should have sexual intercourse what are the different uh, disadvantages or demerits of um, um, unprotected sex so all the uh, aspects or all the issues associated with sex that should be taught to students openly so that they know stuffs before they do something because in that age people do not have much idea about what is right and what is not so it is better to provide them as much information as possible so that they can decide themselves that what should be done and what should not be knowledge on sexually transmitted diseases that is very important care of pregnant mother and baby obviously that has to be there because if we want a healthy population then the mothers has to be healthy as well as the newborns appropriate medical facilities for reproduction related problems for example the delivery so delivery of a female should be taken care of in a nice way because there are many villages or rural areas where no proper medical facilities are still available so still they are not available so that means people do suffer many of the females they they uh, they actually have to undergo a lot of complication while giving birth to a baby sometimes the newborn uh, is not properly taken care of so appropriate medical facilities has to be provided to all the sections of the society it is not that only expensive hospitals provide good facilities and all other not ex not so expensive hospitals they do not provide good facilities that should not be the case so it it has to be provided to each and every section of the society Uh, irrespective of where they are located or irrespective of their financial status so these are some of the things that we we'll cover under reproductive health thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material find tutors and mentors thank you once again